This will be my last video about Shock of God. Shock is nothing more than a troll. He doesn't care what anybody thinks except himself and his own belief system. He's block happy and will block anybody who has opposing views. He doesn't care what anybody thinks. Anybody who accepts any of his challenges, he doesn't care what they say. If they don't agree with him in any way, he ignores them and he claims victory. He's a fraud and a troll, nothing else. I made this letter back a few months ago. I wanted to address this to him personally, but he blocked me months ago. So instead I posted on my website. Many people have seen it and I just felt like saying it out loud now. Dear Shock of God, I'm not going to answer your 15 questions for atheists and evolutionists because frankly, many of my fellow atheists have and or will answer them completely and logically. I just wanted to answer your one question that supposedly stops us atheists in our tracks. Which I must tell you, many people have answered this and then again, you don't like atheists at all and will rarely debate them. Also, you will spread rumors about them. Now, aren't you supposed to love your neighbor as stated in your holy book, as well as not to bear false witness? Hmm? What proof and evidence can you provide that atheism is accurate and correct? Now, Shocky Boy, that is just like saying, show me that not collecting stamps is accurate and correct. Or show me that not believing in leprechauns is accurate and correct. Nobody would think that these questions are worth dealing with whatsoever. Yet atheism is held at a different standard, despite it being fundamentally no different than not believing in leprechauns. Even if it were a belief, it would be a nonsense question to ask. Can you give me proof and evidence that theism is accurate and correct? How is belief in God accurate and correct? I would just be as much of a moron by asking that same question. It's not the belief that can be called accurate and correct. Because, if you believe in God, obviously it is accurate and correct to recall yourself a theist. But saying that belief in God is accurate and correct is a nonsensical statement. Since the only possible question we could be addressing with it is whether or not you believe, not whether or not what you believe is true. Now, besides all that above, the burden of proof relies on you, the one making a claim that a God or God exists. How is this possible? Let's say that someone were to randomly walk up to you and tell you that they can fly. You would say the following things most likely. No, you can't. Prove to me that you can fly. Atheism? While the random person, theist, says that, Ha 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 ha, the proof is on you. Prove to me that I cannot fly, and if you can't prove that I can't fly, then obviously I can fly. That is basically what you are doing. Atheism cannot be proven accurate or incorrect. It can be justified or unjustified, but not accurate and correct. So in short, atheism is not a belief. Therefore, it does not require evidence. On the other hand, if you make a claim that God is real, you must give evidence to support that claim. This is called the burden of proof. Since there was no evidence supporting God, it logically follows that he does not exist. So, now that we have all this settled down, please, please, please stop asking people the same damn question over and over again that is inaccurate and instead, but instead you can say, prove to me that atheism can be justified. Or, just not ask it again because it's your burden of proof and at odds. Remember Shaki, ignorance isn't bliss.